Good morning. Uh, today we're going to do an overview of the syllabus for the microeconometrics course. So there is a high demand of data analysis with strong econometrics background in the labor market. For example, World Bank, JPALSE, Smeru Research Institute, Bank Indonesia. So the Department of Economics UGM have split the econometrics to sequence into two tracks to optimize learning. The first sequence is microeconometrics in the fall or the odd semester. And the second sequence is the macroeconometrics or time series econometrics in the spring or even semester. Now microeconometrics is the analysis of individual level data on economic behaviors using cross-sectioned, full cross-sectioned, or panel data. Now this is a very useful tool to evaluate the impact of policies, programs, or interventions. So for example, one of the topic that you're going to learn uh, during the semester is evaluating the impact of PKH, which is the Indonesian conditional cost transfers. We're also going to take the opportunity to learn about the impact evaluation about Bantuan Siswa Miskin or the Four Poor Cash Transfer Program. Now there are numerous topics that we're going to cover in microeconometrics. Um, the first one is going to be the difference in differences model or usually the DID model. We're also going to learn advanced panel data analysis using both the fixed and the random effect models. We're also going to learn about instrumental variable method, which has gone through years of development, and it's a very exciting time to actually learn more about instrumental variable. And we're going to do regression discontinuity to design, both the sharp and the fuzzy. And lastly, we're going to do a discussion on matching method. Now, we're also going to encourage you guys to master statistical software. Uh, so you're going to need to independently spend time to learn and use statistical software. So the benefits of learning and mastering a statistical software is going to extend beyond your undergraduate years. Now, I personally recommend Stata or R, two leading statistical software in the industry. Now, you're going to learn how to do your Stata basic commands and syntaxes for each lecture topic such as the DID instrumental variable until matching. And in addition, you should also independently learn how to do cleaning data, uh, calculate simple statistics, create communicative graphics, and also conduct regression analysis. Now, reading journal articles is also very required. Um, so you're going to read art journal articles from well-known economists. And students will also replicate several econometric analysis. So articles published in top journals will uh, provide data. They're, they're, they're going to share the data. And so uh, we're going to require students to do replication of this um, data. Now, conducting and completing replication analysis gives you uh, confidence to become a professional economist. Now, let's go through some of the course objectives. And uh, the first one is to identify appropriate econometric model to estimate a causal relationship between an outcome variable and an explanatory variable of interest. Second is to conduct an independent research project using microeconometrics method. Third is to master a statistical or econometric software to manage data, clean data, and to estimate an econometric model. And lastly, present a research project that utilizes econometric analysis. Now let's go through some of the uh, course materials that we're going to use throughout the semester. So for you know just basic introductory econometrics textbook, I think Jeffrey Woolrich is um, the best that I can think of. Uh, so you should get your hands on the book. Um, and another exciting and relatively light econometrics book is um, Mastering Metrics, The Path from Cost to Effects by Joshua Engris and uh, John Stephan Pischke. So any one of you want to do microeconometrics uh, analysis, I think this is the book to go. So you should definitely read it. And I also recommend a book by Paul Kettler et al. Um, titled Impact Evaluation in Practice, which you can download for free from the World Bank website. In addition, if you're interested in learning more about Stata, I recommend you guys to, uh, to read Colin Cameron and Pravin Trivedi's uh, Microeconometrics Using Stata. Now, I would like to go through some of the students' responsibilities. Uh, the first one is you should always review online materials to ELA. 
So this will be lecture materials, uh, quizzes, uh, problem set, uh, announcements on individual projects, um, and also announcements on mint and vinyl exams. So there are some tips that I'd like to give you, um, you know, for you guys to be able to understand and thoroughly follow the discussions in the class. Uh, so first, please read the assigned chapter and article prior to each class. This is going to provide you with, um, you know, a robust preparation uh, before you enter discussion in the course. And pointers in the lecture notes will only confirm what you've read. Please ask and do not let a concept go undiscussed if you're still in top of its essence. And please work in a group of two or three to discuss important concepts in class and in problem sets. And also please be mindful of the university copyright rules. Do not post any lecture materials online or in any cloud storage. And please do not do plagiarism, especially on assignments, individual projects, as well as for uh, take home final exams. So thank you so much for uh, taking your time uh, to go through a brief discussion on the syllabus. I look forward to meeting everyone next semester. Bye-bye.